Hey, what is going on Aquarius? Butch Tarot here. I am going to do your one week read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. Uh, for all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. I don't know why, but every time I do Aquarius video, I get that song Age of Aquarius in my head. <laughs> I will not sing it, so you're good. Um, I get a lot of questions about personals. I'm just going to get it out of the way. I do do personals. My my website is in the description below this video. Um, butchtarot.ca, butchtarot.com. Either one will get you there. Uh, for all those people emailing me and commenting, if you want to know more, it's there. Um, if you ever see it down or out of stock, I mean... Wait a few days. I put them down when I get too many. I just don't like getting overwhelmed. I'm all about, uh, you know, quality over quantity. So bear with me. With all that being said, I'm going to use the Wild Reflections Tarot. Let's get it. Universe, what message do we have for Aquarius? What is going on for Aquarius? Very Aquarius. Well, here we go. So the first thing, Aquarius, I feel like this is, I mean, I'm getting that this, this is someone you already know. Um, I feel like it's possibly a friendship that you already have. Now, I feel like with this person, I feel a lot of big changes with this person. I feel like, I feel like in the beginning, this person, I mean, they're seeing you differently than they saw you in the beginning. Feeling like they misjudged you. You know, I feel like there was always kind of like this physical kind of connection between the two of you. But I... I sense this person thought that was kind of it. You know, they just felt like they, they were attracted to you. Um, but lately, things are changing. They're seeing you in a different perspective. I feel like they're getting to know you better. And I, as they get to know you better, they start to really change their their opinion on you. You know, I and in and, and a big way. I mean, I feel like this person, I see this person fantasizing about you. They're thinking about you and only you. You know, I feel like, I mean, I feel like this person's really seen a lot of potential. You know, that you're not just, it's not just a physical thing they have for you anymore. You know, I, somewhere along the line, how they see you changed. And now what they want from you has changed. You know, this person sees a lot of potential in this connection. Um, for some of you, this is someone I feel like it may have been kind of like a crush in the beginning, but now they're seeing you differently. And now it's more than a crush. I mean, I, we, we start off like, I mean, with this flirtatious energy, this very, this little light energy with that Sagittarius vibe. Little flirtatious energy here and there, kind of flirty. But it was more of a physical thing. But now they're seeing you in a different way. And, and, and this, this crush, like I said, for some of them, for some of you, this person uh, went from having a crush to something much deeper. 
And I don't feel like it's one-sided either. You know, I feel like this person knows what they want now. And like I said, I don't think it's one-sided at all because I feel like you've been waiting for it. I feel like you've been feeling something with this person as well and you've been waiting for this person to, to, to step up. You know, waiting for them to come clean and kind of take that, that leap. And that's exactly what I do. I, I, that's exactly what I see here. I mean, I see this person, I mean, you couldn't plan any better. We got the fool taking that leap of faith, um, putting themselves out there. They're chasing after you. You know, with that queen of wands, uh, taking that leap, leap of faith. The, the fool card is the beginning of the tarot. Uh, it's all about, an, it's that new journey. And like I said, I mean, this person has been fighting the urge to tell you because I feel like this this energy of this person wanting to move forward with this, this isn't new. You know, I feel like it's been kind of building up, but I feel like they thought it through. And once they come forward, I mean, they know exactly what they want. They, they kind of struggle with it in the beginning. Like I said, uh, not really sure what the connection was, not really seeing it for what it really was. I feel like they kind of underestimated the connection they had with you, but I feel like that internal struggle, um, I mean, you won. Like I said, with the Knight of Wands, or the King of Wands, it's that very strong, confident energy. You know, once this person opens up to you, and that's exactly, like I said, what's going to happen. You know, once this person opens up, once they let you in, on how they feel with that eight of swords in reverse dropping those walls you'll know they're in you know you, you you're gonna know that they made that decision it wasn't a quick decision it wasn't just like they thought of it last night and all of a sudden now they they they're making you some sort of offer this is well thought out i mean i feel like it's been a bit of a secret like I said, I, they've been kind of holding on to it. Kind of not really knowing what to make sense of. But them coming forward it, it, it is confirmation that they're, they're ready to tell you. You know, this person didn't want to have any regrets. And I don't feel like they do have any regrets. You know, with that five of swords, they, don't, they didn't want to come to you too early. Because like I said, I... I feel like for some of you, it was kind of a crush this person had on you. For the for others, it's they knew there was something there. They just didn't know what it was. And I feel like that physical energy kind of blinded them a bit. But now they're seeing it for what it really is. And that's why I see this person finally stepping up um, with no regrets. Stepping up and making you an offer. Wanting to take you out. Wanting to do things with you. Um, wanting to spend time with you. I mean, and, and like I said, when this person comes towards you, once this person opens communication, everything they're saying is going to be the truth. You know, they, they, they got a big surprise for you is what they think. But like I said, I feel like there's a part of you already kind of waiting for this person to step up because you already felt it. I feel like an energy this strong is not one sided. I mean, we have the lover's card as well. So I feel like there's, there's a deep connection between the two of you. But I, I, it's almost like you've been waiting for this person to say something. And now they're saying something. They think it was a secret. They, th they think they were, they were keeping it from you. But I, I get a sense that you already felt this coming. Like you caught them looking at you. You knew they liked what they saw. It was kind of like, when are, they, when are you going to say something? And like I said, when they come toward you, it's going to be truth. You know, this person isn't going to... They're not going to try to bullshit you. They're not going to half-ass it. They don't, like I said, they don't have any regrets and they don't want any regrets. Coming to you half-assed would be a huge regret. You know, if you're going to come toward an Aquarius, you better come all the way. And like I said, I mean, again, with this person, I just feel like they wanted to make sure. They weren't exactly sure what was right in front of them. I mean, the two of swords, they weren't sure. 
they felt something, but they just didn't want it to be a physical thing. That isn't what they were looking for. That's not what they want from you. And I feel like they processed it. You know, like I said, sometimes we meet people and we have a, a connection with them and it, it, we jump in too quickly. This person didn't want that. The physical was obvious from the beginning. But like I said, I feel like there was some sort of friendship with this person. Um, and like I said, I mean, I feel like they, they underestimated the connection. I mean, in the beginning it was kind of like a crush, but it's, it's developed into something much more. Something they're not walking away from and they don't want to. They're walking right into it. I mean, they, they want to nurture this connection uh, with the star card. You know, they're not walking away. They're walking toward. They know what they want. I mean, they've been fantasizing about you. They've been thinking about you and only you. Um, this was just a... I mean, it, it feels right, but it's also just a logical course that they have to take. I mean, they're not walking away from this. They know what they want. Like I said, once they open up to you, um, very confidently coming to you because they've already made the decision. And moving forward, I see a lot of happiness. I love this card. He uses his deck too much lately, but I get whenever I get this card, I just love it. I mean, you get this deliriously happy woman. She's out there dancing in her house coat, no shoes on. She said, "You know what? I'm not putting shoes on today. I'm just going outside and gonna beat my, beat my gong, and enjoy the sun." <laughs> the artwork in this deck is just phenomenal. Love it. Like I said, the only thing I feel like the only reason this person held back in the beginning is because they just didn't know how d deep this rabbit hole goes. But now they want to know. And like I said, they, they feel like they've been holding this secret from you, but I don't think you... Aquarius just usually don't miss stuff. You know, usually usually can't fool an Aquarius. They kind of know what's going on. And I feel like you, you kind of like, you knew there was something going on. You knew this person kind of had a thing for you. You were just kind of waiting for that to happen. And like I said, with that three, three of ones, that's exactly what I see happening. You know, what you've been waiting for is coming. Um, this person's finally taken that, that, that jump, that leap. Now with this person, I mean, we have... We have Aquarius, we have Gemini. We have some Libra as well. I mean, I do see some Cancer. I feel like some fiery energy is with this. You know, Leo, Aries and Sagittarius. It, um, that's the end of the read for anybody that's here, that's here for the read. I, I usually chat at the end, so that's what I'm going to do. If you're not interested in that, I don't blame you. Be good. Thanks for coming. Um, for everybody else that likes to chat, you know, I, there's so many different people in the world. There's people that, once they feel something, they're in. You know, they're just all in. There's no questions, no hesitation. That's one way to deal with things. This person is a bit different that way. Like I said, I mean, I, they weren't looking for a physical, just a physical connection. And they felt that in the beginning with you. You know, it developed into something more. They started to see you in a different way. They started to really think about you, start fantasizing about you. Then they start realizing that there's something more going on here than just a physical thing. So this crush that they had in the beginning, 
kind of developed into something more. Now, another thing is too, is sometimes people can be hesitant in that situation because especially where I feel like you had some kind of connection, like a friendship or you work with this person or, you know, just some kind of association that you already knew this person, especially if they were a friend. The thing is, once you cross that line, it, it, it really kind of boils down to two scenarios that can happen. Now, a lot of people will try to say a lot of things, but there's not many cases that I've ever witnessed or heard of where someone that's friends with someone decided they wanted more. And that, you know, their friend that they wanted more with, they announced it to them. They rejected them. They usually don't stay friends after that. So that's the thing. You're risking it. And this person wanted to make sure that they, it was worth the risk. That's what I'm getting from the read. It, it, it's like, you know, if me and you were friends and all of a sudden I started having really strong feelings for you, but I liked you as a friend, you know, I liked having you in my life as a friend. Um, once I realized I wanted more from you, like I wanted to take that next step, I wanted to be romantic with you. Once I say that to you, like I said, there's two scenarios. There's you reject me and I lose you because it's kind of hard to regain after that, you know, properly. Or two, you accept it and we move forward. So it's kind of like a gamble for some people. We look at it that way. You know, if I say something to this person and they don't feel the same way, not only did I lose them as, you know, a, par a romantic partner, but I lost them as a friend. Because, like I said, I've seen this scenario play out. Yeah, some people save it for a bit and you're still friends for a bit, but eventually it breaks down. Because eventually you're going to meet someone and the person that has feelings for you, that's your friend, that's just going to be painful for them. It's going to be awkward because then you know how they feel about you and you, they know how you don't feel the same way. Uh, I'm speaking from experience, if you haven't realized. There was this girl in high school. We were friends for probably four years. And like just through junior high, um, where I'm from, there's two elementary schools um, pretty far away from each other, but there's only one middle school. So once you leave elementary, you go to the same middle school. So that's when I met her and we were really good friends all through, like she was like my best girlfriend. Um, high school came. This is probably not the best light to put on myself, but I remember She came to high school and she really developed. And I don't mean that in a, like a physical way. I mean, I don't know how to explain it. I just noticed her. So I don't know if it was me developing, you know, puberty or if she developed puberty. One way or the other, one of us developed and she looked differently, different to me. And I remember I started like thinking about her, like kind of like in a romantic way, like in a, in an intimate way. And this guy that I kind of associated with, he started dating her and I became really jealous, which like I said, is not a good light because I'm not usually a jealous person. I, I'm going to blame it on the hormones. <laughs> we all, we all been there. Um, but I got jealous and I remember they broke up and I remember I announced my feelings to her. I wrote a letter, which I know immature, but I was in grade nine here. High school was grade nine to grade 12. I was young. You know, I think I was 13 or 14 years old. I wrote her a letter and she blew me off for probably two weeks. And then one day she 
had her friend talk to me and tell me that she wasn't, she didn't see me that way. But she still wanted to be friends. So we tried it. It didn't last long. She she started dating guys after guy, and I'm just, I get jealous of, you know, I just couldn't help myself but be jealous and hanging out with her and her talking to me about problems that she was having with guys. It was just too much for me. <laughs> I don't know why I told that story. It's not great. Um, but that's, 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 that's kind of like a warning, though, and I'm just going to put it out there. You know what I'm like? I'm, I, I, I'm... I find myself, it's easy for me to be vulnerable um, with you guys because you guys are so great to me. But, you know, it's a message that I feel like ne needed to be said. I just wish I could have come up with a friend that it happened to and not me. But I've seen it happen to other people too. But that's the thing. You know, and, and later on, probably by grade 11, um, I would see her around and, and I missed a friendship we had. You know, I stopped having those feelings for her. They went away, so obviously it wasn't, it was more of a crush. Um, we always clicked mentally. So I feel like once we came back to school, she, you know, like I said, one of us, something changed. And I already knew we had the mental connection. And now there was a physical thing going on. So I felt like it was it was real. Um, but like I said, by grade 11, uh, we, we hadn't been friends. Most of grade 9, all of grade 10. I seen her around and stuff. And I always just thought, like, I miss being friends with her. Like I said, once you take your shot... Ain't much coming back after that. <laughs> so I, I feel this person's energy. I feel like this person just wants to be sure. They wanted to be sure. And now they're sure what they want. They're going after it. Plain and simple. Anyway. I know. <clears throat> I know this is annoying. I know that it is. But I don't realize I'm doing it. Um, most of you know I'm getting married. Never worn a ring in my life. I've been using this practice ring um, that Rose had got me. But unfortunately, it spins. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It spins. And I'm like, that's the worst person. I'm the worst person to give shit like that to because I'm sitting here spinning. I don't realize I'm spinning it. But as I'm realizing I'm spinning it, I just, I know it can be annoying. And I apologize for that. Be good. <laughs> Take care. Stay safe.